Hi, this is Pavan. Welcome to Techno Files Hub. Uh, today we are going to talk about Meta Viewport Tag. Uh, in our previous video, we have discussed about the importance of Meta Cassette Tag. So I thought it's equally important for me to discuss about this Meta Viewport Tag. So uh, before getting into Viewport, let me talk about its history. Uh, the term Viewport has been first introduced in uh, CSS 2.0 specification as popular contrary belief that Apple has introduced it. Uh, Apple has just borrowed the name viewport and introduced the meta viewport tag uh, CSS 2.0 specification has actually introduced it and along with it there are many other keywords that it has introduced the user agent uh, and uh, media groups uh, etc. Uh, they all have been introduced in CSS 2.0 specification so as it stands now, viewport meta tag is not a standard, uh, but all mobile browsers on Android and uh, iPhone can recognize this tag and do the needful. Um, you may want to use this tag when your website supports responsive web design uh, or your website is specifically developed for a mobile device. So let's see the importance of it uh, with an example. So I'm going to create a, a HTML file for that. So I'm going to create Okay, first let me define the doc to my type. So let me save this first. I'm going to name it as index.html and I'm going to insert uh, a body first and define some lorem ipsum with finite words and define one h1 tag maybe h1 tag with lorem five words and uh, let me style with this red so that it looks good uh, color red and uh, let me define a head head portion of this particular html page and define with title Okay, this should do for now. So let me load this up in Chrome browser. Yeah, looking good. Uh, we have already discussed that, you know, the browser is already responsive. So the viewport tag does not make any difference if we are loading it in a uh, desktop browser. So let me open the inspect element and load it in our mobile browser. So as you can see this now, uh, it's loaded in iPhone 5. Let me reload this. So this is how it is looking in the uh, mobile browser. Uh, now let us introduce the meta cassette, uh, the meta viewport tag and see what difference does it make. So, uh, but before uh, proceeding, let me point this out. Uh, as you can see here, uh, there is no big difference between H1 tag and uh, the text that you are seeing uh, bottom. So uh, it is not, uh, scaled up to its proper length so that's where this meta viewport tag says i mean you are saying that css one pixel is equals to viewport one pixel so uh, about viewport viewport is nothing but uh, the browser that it uh, loads the page um, viewport is equals equals to a software which actually loads the page so we can recognize viewport in that way so the definition goes as follows meta name is equals to viewport and uh, its contents gonna be width width is one of the options for viewport so what this will do is that you know it will define the viewport width as equals to the device width so uh, it will get the device width and uh, it will say that you know you have to fit um, the the width of the page uh, is actually device width so width equals to device width so this is one of the parameters that it has so see what happens now so this is how it is looking now and you know the h1 uh, scaled properly and it looks good now i mean uh, to the previously so let me comment this out and show how it looks previously so if i reload so this is how it is looking previously no uh, it has been scaled uh, which is not so proper uh, and let me define this scale also here meta viewport and
and I'm going to say to the uh, viewport that you know you have to scale at one I mean one is equals to hundred percent so initial scale is a scale equals to one so let's see how it looks like now so this is how it is looking as of now it it makes you know the look and feel of uh, mobile uh, you know proper one so that's why we use uh, this viewport tag and if I make this two here it will be loaded uh, as a zoom page so okay and it will load see as you can see the scale has been set to two and it loaded the page in a zoomed mode I mean the scale of the uh, uh, page went high so that's why we use a scale and uh, uh, we use with the device with uh, for uh, setting up the device with properly to the, fit to the page so uh, this this is the reason why we use uh, meta viewport tag uh, there are some other options that you can use with the viewport there will be a maximum scale option I believe uh, which will if you set to one then you will not you will not allow users to zoom through the page that you know you want to present so set, such sort of options can be uh, available using this particular viewport tag uh, I believe I have explained this uh, enough uh, so feel free to browse about this tag and use it in your web development thanks for watching have a good day bye bye